This is in a nutshell where we are with Agile. So, of course, the, the survey is much more extensive and it, adds all, it asks all sorts of questions. So I've simplified and said, well, let me define at least some of the core things that I think teams should be doing to be Agile. And I've defined this term of upstream and downstream. And so basically, uh, in the upstream, these are five practices of, well, are you shortening your iterations? Are you bringing iterations down to, from two to four weeks? You know, plus minus a week, perhaps. But are you shortening your iterations from months to weeks? Are you doing daily scrum meetings? Which is, are you communicating? Is the team communicati communicating consistently, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, with, uh, with discipline? Agile, we know, is really common sense with discipline. Are you applying that discipline? You have to be really disciplined to apply Agile. There's no, co you know, cowboy coding, as we hear sometimes. Product owner, do you have a product owner from the business? Do you leverage early and frequent feedback? Well, that's what continuous delivery is all about, actually. If I can deliver things faster to the business, guess what? And to your users, guess what? You're also going to get feedback sooner, much sooner, much faster. You're going to be able to react to that feedback and fix things. Um, you know, so, and, the, and, the, and the last but not least is use burn up, burn down charts, and that's Transparency, right? How can you be sure that everybody knows what's going on? Business loves that. Business loves it that they don't need now a project manager that sits there and kind of sits on the project and tells his story about where the project is, but he, they can actually see things. And 51% do all those upstream activities from the survey. They do also other things, but these are the top ones I cut out. Downstream activities is continuous integration, continuous delivery, and test-driven development. I picked three engineering, three of these quote-unquote agile engineering aspects. And 24% of them do that. So the numbers go down when you look at the engineering aspects. And the thing is, for the past years, most have been focusing on Scrum or you know, agile project management type of frameworks, and less about XP. Very few know, actually, that CI is something that XP has been you know, pushing and defining for years. And the question is, 24%, if you look at who's doing all of them end-to-end -end and are really deploying fast, because the top part removes the barrier between business and the teams, and the bottom part removes the barriers between development teams and operations, and that's where I, I like to add test to it, only 15% do all of that. You'll see that the ones, the expert firms, are the ones that are being successful with, uh, that are delivering more than 50% of their projects in Agile, and they're successful with it. That's how I define the expert firms. What they're doing is they are working on all of those aspects that you saw you know, were kind of the impediments. So they, they are dealing with people's behavioral change more than their nail fights. They are including a, a product, you know, they're, they're addressing the issue of lack of a product owner from the business side. How do I get business involved? What do I need to do? They, 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 they address that issue. Lack of skills in the upstream, lack of dedicated cross-functional teams, you know, lack of agile executive leadership. Leadership is key and, uh, key and crucial for all this. And lack of skills in downstream and DevOps.